Hey, what is going on guys? Uh, it's Caleb here and in today's video, I'm going to talk about five plugins on Figma that I think everybody should be using, especially if you're a web and UI and UX designer. And for me myself, right, like when I work without this plugin, I think my definitely my productivity will be a lot slower. And this kind of plugin really helped me to speed up my workflow about like I would say around like 30%. So if you're using Figma as your design tool and if you're not, I strongly recommend that you should. I think this plugin will be really, really helpful for you guys. Um, so before I talk about those plugins, I do want to give a quick shout out uh, to Elements and they are the sponsor of this video. Um, so I talk about Elements on my design channel before and basically Elements is a very big uh, design platform, a marketplace for designers to download a bunch of design assets on their website for a monthly subscription, which I believe is $16.50. So for $16, I think it's a great value and I will, I will explain why, right? So one of the product on Elements is the WordPress theme and WordPress templates and WordPress plugin, right? So basically as a web designer myself and or web developer myself, right? A lot of times I'll come across client that doesn't have a very high budget. So for example, if the client has anything below five grand, then I probably wouldn't take it as a custom design website, right? But what I would suggest or recommend is that I can, you know, find a template and how to customize that template and make it look and feel to be matching whatever kind of style that you're looking for, right? I just ha don't have the designing coded out because it's going to be a lot quicker for me to do the job and a lot more uh, better for your for your budget as well, right? So when I'm looking for a theme, I will go on websites, uh, I'll go to Elements and just trying to find a website that matches their expectations, matches their, you know, the type of content that they have on the websites, right? And usually a theme like that would sell for around like 20 to 50 bucks. But for the $16 subscription fee, you basically have access to every single theme on the platform and you can download as many as you want, right? So as a business like, you know, modifying themes and stuff, I think Element is definitely offering a great value. And you can see that, you know, their product is just very high quality as well, right? So you can just you know check out their live preview of the website that you're downloading. It's just great theme that you can get a bunch of these for 16 bucks. So it's a great value. And if you are you know a designer or a developer that are working with WordPress, and I believe that this can really benefit your company or business as well, especially as a freelancer as well. As well. So if you're interested, definitely go check out Elements. I think you will find great value on the website. I have a link in the description down below, so go check them out. Um, so going back to today's video, um, so the plugins that I'm gonna recommend you guys download. Um, the first one is uh, a plugin called AutoFlow. So what AutoFlow does is AutoFlow basically help you to connect a lot of your screen together. And it is especially helpful if you are, let's say a UI and UX designer, and you have to create a lot of product flow map and stuff, right? So imagine that every one of these um, boxes are one screen, right? So how do you connect this kind of screen together? If you want to tell your client that, you know, this screen go from here to here, right? Then how can you tell that to your clients? And usually what I would do is just draw a lines, right? But that takes a lot of time to draw all of this line and connect all of these screens, right? But for auto flow, basically just one click and you're done. And you select this uh, screen and you want to connect it this, right? Select this one, hold down shift, and then boom, that is how you connect it, right? So let this one hold on this, connect it, right? And then this one link to this, this one link to this, and however you want to link them, right? You can just basically go all the way like that, right? So this is really, really helpful when it comes to connecting the screens. And I've been using this plugin for a long time now, and it just basically speed up this uh, part of my workflow a bunch. Uh, so AutoFlow, definitely grab that in your library, uh, in your plugin category. And the second one that I want to talk about is this plugin called Charts. So Chart is, you know, as a UX designer, UI designer, right? You will definitely come across a lot of times where you have to visualize some kind of data, right? You have a bunch of data, you want to put them on a graph. So before I have this plugin, I have to manually create this UI elements, right? Which is, you know, kind of time consuming considering if you have a bunch of different line chart that you have to create, right? Then you have to match all of these chart and lines and stuff and you just take a bunch of time. Usually creating one chart like that takes quite a lot of times, right? But with this plugin, basically after you create it, you add it, then boom, you get added to your Figma file, right? And if you want a different style for your for your items, you can just customize it in here. It basically create the element that you, you're customizable, right? So it create a base for you and then you can make them pretty later and it's just extremely 
helpful when creating charts and stuff and not just line chart right it can be you know bar chart it can be a uh, um, donut chart or whatever right so donut chart just type in the segment that you want and then you add it and boom right and then you can customize the color I don't like this I don't like this orange I want it blue whatever right? you can just do that so chart plugin extremely helpful um, definitely grab that if you are a designer that worked with data and then the third plugin is called content real uh, so content real is another one that I work with quite often right so content real why is this good it's because all of these very common data sets that you don't have to grab it online and put it to your Figma file you can just grab it from here right so for example click this one phone name boom that is your name right so you don't have to find a fake name online and put it on your file especially helpful when you're working on table right so for example table you have a bunch of names that you have to fill out and filling out like this would take you forever but with this plugin right basically just one click all of this information fill and they don't just work with um, names right they have dates they have address they have phone number they have currency they have a bunch of other data sets as well if you go to test right they have like quite a bit more emails and stuff like this right so super extremely helpful with copying duplicating data and also working with the uh, profile pictures as well right so you don't have to go go on google find a fake face and copy in here you can just find it in here and then boom it fill all of these images line for you right it's a lot quicker than copying individually and you can see that a lot of people are putting their favorite you know avatar uh, images on the websites right so you can see what people are using you know they have like logos as well so that can get you pretty crazy stuff and if you don't like any of these you can just create your own with this plugin in here right so that definitely speed up my workflow quite a lot and the last good thing about this plugin too is they have the icon section, which you know I have used it icon pack for a couple of my projects. It's pretty big. I think they have over a thousand icons in this pack in here. So you can just drop it, grab it, whatever you want to do with this, right? So extremely, extremely helpful plugin that I would recommend any of this, you know, UI designers just download. It's great. Um, and then the fourth plugin that I want to talk about is this one called Scale. And you may wonder, you know, Figma I can just scale in elements, right? Which is true, like for the star, right? You can just scale it up and down and down like that. But when your element has more attribute to it, right? For example, you have your body radius, you have your stroke, right? Then the scale is, the, the default Figma scale is not gonna work very well, right? So for example, in here, <clears throat> you have your element like that and you wanna scale down and you can see that the stroke is not scaling together with the elements, right? So this is not working. Uh, but with the scale plugin, you can just say that I want to scale this down to, you know, 100 pixel, and then this will scale down down to 100 pixel, and you can see that the stroke itself scale at the same portion, uh, proportion as the elements itself, right? So that is very very handy. And another use case as well, right? If you have a canvas. Right, and I want to scale this entire canvas, and you can see that the Figma plugin does not scale it. Right, uh, the Figma default setting does not scale canvas, but with the scale plugin as well, you can just scale it. Let's say to just put it uh, 1440. Right, very standard website size. Right, then that whole thing is gonna scale up. And you can see everything is within this is going to scale in proportion, right? So that is definitely a very handy tool that I cannot recommend to you guys enough. This is really, it saved my life so many times. And the last one that I want to introduce to you guys, it's called um, Test to Image or Image to Test or uh, Test from Image. So this plugin is very great, um, which is, you know, you can see a bunch of different content within this uh, image in here, right? But if I don't have this plugin, what I would have to do is, you know, I have to manually type it out, any of these, all of these contents, right? This is actually from one of my projects that I'm currently working on. I'm updating the UI in this device. Um, but like to copy any of these, right? If I don't have that plugin, I have to manually type it out, right? So that takes a lot of time and so I have to spell check everything. But with this plugin, basically how does that work is I can run that plugin uh, let me let me track it up in here because I know the web version is not going to work very well. I can run this plugin, right? Test from image, copy it, and you can see that it's copying the stuff. And just wait for a little bit. And then once it's done, right? Once it's done, you can basically just paste it, right? Paste it in here. 
that is very extremely easy. So you don't have to type in the whole thing, right? Just copy and paste it. So that is pretty much, you know, all the plugin that I would like to recommend to you guys. And it's very, very extremely helpful. And if you look at my plugin list, right? There's actually quite a bit more than that. But I would say that this five is my, you know, highest recommendation to you guys. And if there's any other plugin that I'm not using right now and you guys think is have great value, and definitely tell me in the description down below as well. And then also, if you like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And definitely don't forget to check out Element's website. And I think they have some cool stuff in there as well. So all the link down in the description down below. And I'll talk to you guys in the uh, in the next video. Cheers.